If You Miss Me by Jocelyn Lee Langrand. Charlie loved to dance and her grandma loved to watch her. She watched her in class, on the playground, and all through town. At night, Charlie and Grandma danced under the moonlight, or, if they were tired, made wishes to the moon about their heart's desire. When fall came, Charlie moved to the city with her parents. Grandma said, if you miss me, look at the moon. I will do the same. Sometimes Grandma came to the city. There, she watched Charlie dance with her friends. Charlie's heart always leapt when she saw Grandma in the crowd. Each time Grandma left, she said, if you miss me, look at the moon. I will do the same. Sometimes they talked on the phone. Charlie loved to share every detail of her dances with Grandma, and Grandma wanted to hear them all. I have a dance recital this summer, said Charlie. Will you come? I will be there, Grandma promised. But when winter came, Grandma visited Charlie less and less. It was Charlie's turn to visit during the break. I miss you, Grandma. When will you come to see me dance again, Charlie asked. Don't worry, Grandma said. If you miss me, look at the moon. Charlie finished her sentence. I will do the same. Then she asked, why the moon? Because even if we are apart, Grandma said. The same moon shines for both of us. So when I see the moon, I see you. Not long after that, Grandma passed away. It was the coldest winter Charlie ever remembered. It was the hardest one too. Charlie kept making mistakes during practice. Dancing was not the same without Grandma. In truth, nothing was the same without Grandma. But at night, the moon whispered to Charlie. It sounded like, I miss you too. For the next few weeks, Charlie danced every day after school, preparing with her dance studio for the summer recital. It was the biggest show of the year and Charlie wished to dance her best. Soon it was time Everyone arrived excited for the big night. Everyone except for Charlie. She felt nervous and alone like never before. She didn't search the crowds for familiar faces this time. Instead, she looked up. Charlie's heart leapt. Suddenly, Charlie understood what Grandma had been telling her all along. Even if she and Grandma were apart, the same moon shined for both of them. So when Charlie saw the moon, she saw Grandma too.